I've got a problem. My golf cart doesn't really go anymore. I checked the batteries with a voltmeter. It says it has six volts. Put the charger on it. it says they're full. But it doesn't act like it. It acts like they're dead. Couldn't really test it under load with the amp meter or the volt meter because batteries are under the seat. It does have a little gauge on it. Doesn't have any numbers or anything on it, but it has green, red. Red's bad. Everybody knows red's bad. And it goes all the way to the red. I mean, as soon as you try and go, it's like, rah, mm -mm, nope, you in the red, son. So I think it needs new batteries. We're going to take a look. See if I'm right. In case y'all are wondering, golf carts don't come with a hood prop, but a piece of plastic works just fine. So, golf carts, at least this particular one, is a 36 volt. It uses six 6 volt deep cell batteries. We're going to test her out here, see how many volts she's got. Not only is there performance issues, there's also visual issues. We check the voltage, we know there's six volts, we know they don't have enough amps to run the motor, and when we pop this thing and really look at the batteries, well, it's not pretty. As you can see, that one in particular is really bulged out and warped. All of them have that to some extent or another, plus they're seeping acid, and nobody likes battery acid on their golf cart. Well, I guess there's nothing to do now but get down to it and do the dirty. Why are the bolts so long? Is that really necessary? Y'all might recognize this from the pool videos. Sometimes, you just need a little extra persuasion. A good helpful tip before you take wiring apart, take yourself a picture of it. That way, two and a half weeks later when you finally get around to working on it again, you don't forget where everything goes. Now comes the profoundly unfun task of digging them out of there and putting them in the back of the truck to take them in for a core charge. Oh, it's so heavy! It has been brought to my attention by my lovely, lovely camera woman slash life mate, Jessica, that not everybody knows what a core charge is. What that is, is sometimes parts are rebuilt or recycled, especially control boards, batteries, electrical components like starters and alternators. So when you buy a new one, they make you give them the old one so, they can, so that they can either recycle it or rebuild it to resell it. So if you buy something that's been refurbished, that was a core charge at one point in time. They took it as a core. If you don't give them a core, they charge you extra money. The batteries here have to be worth 16 bucks a piece if I give them to them. Otherwise, I got to pay them an extra 16 bucks for the new batteries. And that is no bueno. Whew. You know, I once crashed a golf cart twice on the same hole. My driving squills were, they were really subpar that day. So it was a little bit of a fiasco, which I'm gonna tell you all about. But we got our new batteries. They're a lot prettier than the old ones. Let's get them slapped in there. Now 
now you got to remember where all the wires went. Remember that picture we took? This is its time to shine. Huh. Well, that's pretty simplistic enough. You got one of these here. You got one of them under the golf cart. Did it eat it? Ah, found it. That one goes here. That's all, folks. The best part about this particular hood prop, when you're done with it, it can just be disposed of. The battery fiasco. Let me tell you about getting these batteries. So we loaded those ones up in the truck last night and we took off down to go to our local Pasco and I called them the other day and they assured me they have them and they keep them in stock, bloody bloody blah. Get down there, they don't have them. It's my luck, what can I say? So, you know, hop on the old Google, look around and lo and behold we find golf cart paradise. I mean they have got golf carts for days. So we shoot up there and they're like, yeah, we got these here Trojan batteries. I'm like, Trojan? Like a Trojan horse? No, no, it actually means they're just really good batteries. So our old batteries were 75 amp. These ones, 225 amp. Basically, that means you can hold the pedal down and go full out for five hours straight before you kill the batteries. That's definitely better. That's definitely. Now, the downside is, on the way up there, we were accosted by a Ford driver. And when I say accosted, I mean they were driving 30 miles an hour in a 50 mile an hour zone. Now, I don't mind if you want to go 50. I don't need the speed. But I do need to at least do the speed limit. So I passed them, and as I was passing them, Somebody else decided to do something too, and I had to nail the brakes. And the battery slid all over the back of the truck. And now, the bed of my truck is covered in battery acid. That's not good. That stuff is wicked bad for paint, metal, clothes, fingers, anything you can think of. We need to wash that out, so that's what we're going to do. Yeah, she's a speed demon. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope it inspires you to get out there and do something yourself. There's got to be a project around the house somewhere that you can tackle. Don't be afraid. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.